Today we're going to talk about the new Gaspardo Fiore sickle mower. It's about six foot long, six feet long, and people either love or hate sickle mowers. And most of the time when you find people who hate sickle mowers, it's because they don't understand them and they're trying to wrestle with either an improper fit or a improperly maintained sickle mower. And comparatively speaking, a sickle mower compared to like a drum mower or uh, a disc mower, it's a little bit more labor intensive. There's there's more pieces, but also sickle mower is way more forgiving uh, for uneven terrain, rocks, twigs, etc. A, a drum mower, a disc mower, you'll just disintegrate it and leave half of it in the field if you hit a rock or, or something. So I'm going to talk about the Gaspardo today. Yeah, I dare you. Looks like rain's in the forecast. Everybody's camped out. So, you know, first time setting something up, it's actually not that bad. I still have a couple things. I gotta look up in the, on the uh, owner's manual and hook those up. Um, everything's sitting right. I've got this so it, it actually toes up a little bit. You can see it kind of curves up. So you want this, the top length is what's, the top length on the three point hitch is what's gonna set the angle of your cutter bar. And so you do want it to be, you know, at an incline a little bit so that you're, your fingers are, you know, riding uphill just a little bit. You don't want them digging in the dirt, and so it saves wear and tear. Kind of want it running on the soles here. Here's our safety chain here. What you do is you lower this down to about 19 inches. So this section right here is 19 inches from the ground. Set your chain here, and then every time you lower your three-point hitch, the mower will go back to the same preset spot. Got the, the pitch set. This here is our uh, latching rod that holds the, the mower up when we're transporting it. You don't just rely on the cylinder. Uh, everything's been connected. Safety chains on the PTO. There's one more here I gotta hook up real quick. And you should be good to go try around. One of the reasons I wanted this one is it has the hydraulic fold on it. Uh, after you've lifted and, um, and uh, dropped this a thousand times, the novelty of uh, picking it up and putting it down is gone. So we're going to take this guard off here. Put this off to the side. You know.
Now that I've used it, I've washed it all down. Here's your stay rod here. This is what holds it up. And so the way these sickle bar mowers work is your fingers here, the rock guards and the knife sections, they both move. So it's like scissors. You can see here on this cam right here, it's like a crankshaft. So you've got one here for the knife and then this one here is the fingers. So the whole thing is, is moving. Uh, you got two moving parts and it runs super quiet. The, the drawback I found is, I don't know how you would put high arch hold downs on it. So it looks like you have to, in order to work on this, you got to take the knife out. So you'd have to go down here and, and disconnect your knife here and slide the whole thing underneath, bring it in the shop and then rivet all your sections back in. So you can't use bolts on it. That's, that's the only drawback. Oh, it's two and one. Number one, you can't fix the sections on the mower. You have to take the knife out. And number two, you can't use bolts. You absolutely have to use rivets on it. So those are the only two things I found that are kind of... Frontier doesn't make any of their own implements. They're all uh, subcontracted out to some other company. It, so I don't care what implement you buy that says Frontier on it. It's... it's uh, who knows who made it. You better off just to go figure out who made the implement and then buy it so you don't have to deal with two sets of manufacturers, part numbers, and two separate dealers. For example, don't buy a Frontier sickle mower when you can buy the Gaspardo sickle mower and just get the parts directly from Gaspardo, which is what you would have had to do anyway, ultimately, if you bought the Frontier. So I'm, I just don't like Frontier. I think they're just rebranded somebody else's product and slapped some green paint on it and added 30% to the cost because it's green.